Hey YouTube, Shukun Shinobi here with a review of the SIC Kamenaru Oz Taja Door Combo Volume 65 of the SIC series. So this is the second Oz release. Um, Gatakiri Ba is an exclusive, and I assume the rest of them are going to be two. Uh, Taja Door is obviously here, a retail release, as is Puto Tira, coming out in May, April or May, somewhere around there. Uh, so very, very cool. Um, Box-wise, it's the same as the Tataba combo box, except red with Taja Dole on it. What's a condol? I don't know. Good old Japanese. So, we'll get that out of the way. And bring this absolutely stunning figure. Um, I loved Tataba quite a bit. I loved it. He does seem taller. Tataba's neck is just uh, quite a bit lankier. His head sits a lot taller on the neck. So, now that he's looking down, you can see it's a little bit more even. The chest posts are a little bit different, so Tadoba kind of ends up a little bit taller because his chest post is a little bit longer than Taja Doors. So, um, yeah, Taka, Kujaku, Kondoru, Taku, or Taka, Taka being Hawk, Kujaku being Peacock, Kondoru being Kondor. Um, so yeah, very cool. I, I love the way this looks. Tajador is my favorite of the combos just because it retains the sleekness of O's design that Puto Tira kind of throws out the window with all of the armor. Um, but it just looks awesome and it, it doesn't help that my favorite color is red. So just an absolutely gorgeous figure. The Taja spinner looks sweet on here. It's all feathery and big and not a pancake maker, waffle maker, whatever. I ruined the joke. But still very cool. From the back here, you've got all kind of the same sort of back design that uh, Tatava had. Just in red with a little bit more feathery stuff. Because that's what happens with bird combo. Uh, but very cool. you got the little like wings on his feet down here. Only problem I have to figure is these ankles are quite a bit loose. Um, particularly when you attach the wings onto him, he becomes a little bit back heavy. So he tends to fall backwards. To counter that, you lean him forward, and then the ankle gives out, and then he leans forward. So it's kind of a lose-lose situation in that regard, but... This figure is just gorgeous. That's all I can say. Uh, one thing that they did on this figure that I really like is... The logo here is a solid piece. It does pop out. Obviously. Since it's kind of a necessary thing to have. So that does pop right out. And, uh... Tatobas, they capped the three solid pieces that end up looking like the little gummy things with absolutely no mold or not molded and painted in detail or anything. So they look kind of weird. I wish they would have stuck a normal piece just like this for Tataba, but they didn't. Um, with Tatra Door, they did include this middle piece as well as the little gummy esque pieces, which are actually have a slight black, black wash to them. To kind of un enunciate, there we go, the details there. So, um, I'm glad they kind of took that approach to this guy, uh, as opposed to the other way. Uh, the Taja spinner does open up, or rather, the lid comes off. So, if you pop that out, as you can see, we have some metals in there. Um, it does come with uh, six additional uh, Takakujaku and Condor metals. Uh, so between the three in the belt and the six here, you do have uh, all nine of the red medals. So they're all in there. It also comes with Takakujaku and Condor cell medals, a split Taka medal, and then a completely broken Taka medal to emulate the ones in the show. Not going to explain why for those of you that haven't seen the series yet, but you'll figure it out eventually. So that's really cool. Obviously, there's no spinny gimmick or anything like that, but it does look really, really fantastic. Articulation-wise, these shoulder pads do get in the way, and there are shoulder pads underneath it as well, right down there. Uh, so they do kind of get in the way, but it's not horrendously awful. You can still kind of maneuver the arm around completely. So obviously, you can't do like a straight-up arm position, but... You never really need that kind of pose anyway for something like this. Movement down there in the waist and the abdomen area. Full rotation at the neck. 
Just be careful about the way that the neck moves independent of the helmet. So you might uh, end up losing that little red line somewhere. Uh, double joint uh, swivel right there at the wrists that we're all used to by now with Tomashi products. Ball and socket down there with a thigh swivel that kind of works. Kind of. Double joint and then a uh, ball and socket down here for the ankles. Or not ball and socket, it's that little cylinder pin thing that they got going on. And you got a little bit of movement this way as well, and then the toe action, obviously. So pretty much standard articulation and the same exact articulation setup as Tatoba. Very cool. So um, accessory-wise, Tatoba came with the tiger claws and the bata legs. So of course, Tatador has to come with his own thing. He comes with these condor legs that um, have little talons that kind of can enclose and stuff which is really really cool um, the joint still works completely and everything like that so that is very cool I do love the way that ends up looking so these are these are really neat and then it comes with the wings that Tajador is famous for uh, right here so you've got all six wings just very very majestic looking and I love the gradients in this plastic it, it's all ow it just poked me it's all a uh, transparent plastic too so uh, it looks even extra beautiful especially in the right light conditions um, just very very cool so uh, to attach these you kind of have to take apart the figure in some places which isn't really that big of a deal all you have to do for the wings is pop off this piece back here It'll fall right out set that aside now you have a little hole right there you take the wings and basically just plug that entire little back piece into the hole and there you have Taja door with the wings and they're all on little independent little rotations and swivels so you can pose those however you please I just kinda prefer to have it somewhat like that for the condor legs, it's a little bit more difficult. It's pretty much the same thing as switching the bata legs out. Just kind of pull that leg out and then push this leg in, which is actually kind of difficult. These legs don't always want to go right into the little joint there all the way. But uh, something pretty close to that. Ta-da! So pretty neat. Um, in a standing pose, it looks kind of ridiculous, sort of like the Bata legs. Um, I like the way that they look overall, um, but they really suit themselves better for a for a kick. Something along the lines of that, like a, a kick um, for the prominence drop attack. I think that's what it was called. His uh, scanning charge attack. So, I, it works themselves a lot better for an action pose, but um, the wings look gorgeous regardless of what you're doing with them. If you're doing a kick, they look great. If you're standing there, they look great. So, those pretty much always just look great. I love those wings. Um, they, they're, just, they're great. Obviously, to get this guy in a kick pose, you need a Tomashi stage. Included is a Tomashi stage Act 5. The ones that are traditionally given out with Super Robot Shogokins, uh, most Robot Damashis. Stuff like that, the more coffin-shaped one. Uh, with the little ratchet joint, which I actually like because it's it's really strong and it'll hold up the figure. Um, the only issue I have is the fact that um, this isn't big enough. The little grippy, um, it, it works fine. You can, you can get it in there and then not really do much. Because in order to actually get it around the figure, you need to get it in this little area between the belt and the, the chest piece. And that's kind of a weird area to try to fit it in. So as you can see, I got it in there, but it doesn't like to hold all that well. It already slid out. Plus you have the O-Scanner, which likes to just fall off randomly because it doesn't hold in there all that well. So it's kind of disappointing the fact that... Um, they didn't engineer the whole system. If you take off the wing pack, uh, which I will do since I'm going to need to get him back to normal anyway soon, um, that hole right there, if you do take this off, you can fit the Tomashi stage port inside that hole and use it like that. 
um, which is fine and dandy, except then you can't use the wings. And the whole point of the wings is to make it look like he's flying, and to make it look like he's flying, you need the Tamashii stage. So it's kind of a, a very heavy lose-lose situation regarding this, this stage. All they would have had to do to fix that would have been to make a hole right in that silver area. And that's all they would have had to do, or make that a cap that you could take off to reveal a hole. That's all they had to do to make that thing halfway decent, and uh, they really didn't. So that's a big letdown, especially given how many figures lately have been uh, implementing that. Like, part has a hole, or there's a little peg that you can pull out to include the Tamashii stages, so that's uh, kind of a little bit of a disappointment. So, of course, what's a Tamashii product without additional hands? I'm um, included with uh, this guy is a hand for holding metals. Uh, it can hold three metals in between his fingers, which I think is kind of cool. You have a more traditional, just kind of slightly pointed out hand. And then you have the just relaxed, splayed open hand. So you've got those five hands. Like I said before, you have the three individual crest pieces for the part swapping gimmick which I'll show off in a second and then the metals that it came with plus the other set that I put in the Tajaw spinner plus the effect parts and the Tomashi stage so quite a bit of accessories uh, no metagelber or anything so it's not like the figure arts it just kind of bleed metagelbers um, they're a little bit more sensible with this release the part and swapping gimmick is actually very easy so uh, let's go ahead and bring in good old Tataba and uh, do some part swapping. So here we have a fully dismantled Tataba and Taja door. Uh, one thing I do want to point out real quick, I can't show it just because the way I put everything back, but um, inside of here there is, in Tataba, a double-sided ball joint with one being larger and one being smaller. The smaller one connects to this black cylinder right here. The larger one connects inside the chest cavity. Uh, that's fine and dandy until you get to Taja door. His, um, right here, is not a double-sided ball joint. If it is, it's connected in there and glued. Um, because the issue I had before is when I popped it out, the entire cylinder plus that joint popped out of Tata door, no problem whatsoever. I did it to Tatoba, and the joint, the double-sided ball joint, got stuck inside the chest cavity. The cylinder just came out. So I had to pry around and try to get the, uh, the double-sided ball joint out and that just didn't work there was no way I could get it out I was too weak or whatever I don't know but um, anyhow uh, what I ended up having to do is pry the cylinder off of this joint right here and I did that to both figures that seems to be the easier way of doing it in my opinion um, because Tatoba is differently engineered than Tajador in that respect um, I assume they figured, oh, this makes the part swapping gimmick difficult, let's fix this, and they fixed it for Taja Door. So anyway, um, so we have all of our little pieces. I'm not going to bother um, changing the metals inside the belt. Um, I've shown the fact that you can open it up and switch it. Um, it just, it's unnecessary time wasting. Uh, so I'm not going to bother doing that, but uh, let's go ahead and make the two possible combos that we can do here. We can do uh, Taka Jaba and uh, Taka Tora Door, I think. Something like that. So, um, basically we're going to take the, uh, make sure this chest cavity stays with the Bata legs since it's green. And this one stays with the Taja Door legs because it goes there. So let's go ahead and make a Taka Tora door, because why not? So you stick that piece in there for the chest cavity, and then just push this in. Um, it would probably help if you put the belt on first. Generally a helpful thing. You are not a rider without your belt. And then just kind of wiggle it into place. It might take a little bit of effort. Some finagling and possibly bribery. It's kind of like uh, the figure at hands in terms of you need to get that joint straight. And it's actually kind of difficult to do. Alright, that should be in there decently enough. And then take the condor piece and stick it right in there. And now we have a Takatora door. 
so really cool. This is actually one of my favorite forms, because uh, in the show when he fights using the condor legs, they've got like a bladed effect when he kicks, and then if you combine that with the claws on um, the Tora body, then you have a really cool like quadruple blade effect going on. And so that turns out really neat, and like I, I just like the way that the red and the yellow work together. I just really like the way that looks. So that's really cool. So that's one of the potential combos. The other one is Taka Jabba, which we should be familiar with from the figure that I haven't reviewed. But um, yeah, he's he's a thing. He used him a couple times. So basically, pop out the Tatuba head since we're going to need this uh, normal Tatuba head for that combo. And nothing else from this body, so we'll just set that aside. Get the other belt on there. And... That should probably go inside at the body of Tajador. Um, the Tatoba body part right here for the Bata is a lot tighter than, uh, than Tajador's is in terms of fit inside of the body. So keep that in mind when you're doing this. Ta-da! And then finally take the normal Tatoba head and pop it back into the joint right there. And now we have SIC Taka Jabba, and he is not an exclusive, guys. That's cool. Um, and then, as always, you can take the, the the back part out and put on the fanciful uh, wings of justice that are very very cool. So that's always an option for you to do as well. But um, I just I like this part swapping gimmick. It's not horribly intricate. I thought the double ones were kind of annoying in terms of how much you actually had to change on the figures. Whereas these are kind of like the OCCs in the fact that it's just a simple leg section, body section, and then the head. So yeah, uh, really cool. He's kind of headless right now, but that's fine. So the fact that you can get like these two combos just out of the two figures is really cool. Um, if you bring in Puto Tira, which I assume is going to be using kind of the similar base body... So you might actually be able to switch things up, which uh, we'll take a look at if it's possible. Even if it's not appropriate, if it's possible, let's do it. Um, so that, that'll that be cool to see. Got to carry Ba, and I'm sure the other three are going to wind up as exclusives, because Got to carry Ba is. Um, so I will be gunning those down, we'll take a look at them and their part swapping gimmicks. Um, but very cool. It's fairly easy to do outside of that thing with the the ball joints and the cylinders issue that I had. Um, everything else goes in really smooth, and I think once, um, with all the other figures, they kind of fixed the whole issue with um, that ball joint by uh, gluing it in there so it doesn't pop out separately. So Tatoba's body is the only one that's going to give you a real problem, and considering if you get all the other combos, the only thing you're going to actually need from Tatoba is the head, uh, you should be okay. So, very cool overall figures and I just I really do like this part swapping gimmick it's actually really fun overall Tato door is just a fantastic SIC figure if you have Tato Ba then you can make two more additional figures between the two pieces and that concept I think is just really cool I know it's something that SIC has done before with double and stuff but um, the way that they implemented it here just is a lot cleaner it's less part swappy um, all in all, and I think it looks a lot, uh, a lot better than what they managed to do with Double. Um, I love this figure so much. Uh, Tachador is my, like I said, my favorite combo. I think they captured his look and then added the beastly elements to it. Absolutely perfect. Um, the problems I had with Tatoba, the whole, his leg is crooked and these joints are really loose and stuff, was all fixed with this. They even fixed the, uh, cylinder inside the um, chest there to make it easier for the part swapping gimmick, something that Tatoba kind of failed at. Um, if you if you have any interest in these, I recommend picking up Tatoba. He's a retail release, so he's fairly easy to get your hands on. Uh, granted, these are expensive. They are about 75 bucks a pop normal retail. Um, but places like Mandarake, Secondhand Shops, Yahoo Japan Auctions... Um, and even CS Toys, HLJ, and Amiami occasionally have sales on SIC figures. So if you can get a good deal on him, absolutely recommend him. I even recommend him at the retail price. Just an absolutely fantastic figure that any O's fan that likes this style of figure 
shouldn't be without. So great addition, and I can't wait for Puto Tira. Got to Kiriba and anything else they announce pretty soon. So uh, you can check out shukanshub.com for updates on my reviews and hauls, and of course check out ridersrangersandrebels.com, the podcast me the latest token news in the creative way possible. And of course you can buy this guy and more SICs at cstoysjapan.com. So take care and have a great one. Bye.